All right, here in the last round, and we have the choice, we'll play first. Let's see here, just one, no, I think we're gonna have to do better than that. Um, yeah, yeah, this is actually okay. We have, unfortunately, we have all the red spells, none of the creatures, no green sources either, but we have a Bone Shredder, and Bone Shredder with Animate Dead is actually okay. So, don't know what we're up against yet, but I don't like the counter spelliness. All right, well, we're at Bone Shredder range. Looks like he is Counterspell deck. We're not doing all that much right now. <laughs> oh, well, no land plays is good. Let's uh, let him counter a whip of Erebus, I guess. Got nothing better to do. I mean, I guess I'd rather him counter a Whip of Erebus than... Well, I mean, let's be honest. I don't want him to counterspell anything, but I'm going to have to get through the wall of counterspells. Um, I'm, we'll see if he puts it on top. He did hit the land. All right, so he's had even more counterspells, and we have to assume we're up against counterspells.deck, which is not exactly where I want to be, especially if I'm not pressuring my opponent yet, but it's okay. That is all right. Ooh, Vanillion clicks nasty against us. Still very curious why he would do that. Uh, oh, because he wants to leave up counters. That does make sense. He just sees a grip over... We have, like, the worst hand against our opponent. Our opponent is living in heaven right now. He looks at our hand, he's like, oh my god. Heaven on earth. He ditches the bone shredder. And then we're just left with nothing. <laughs> just a grip full of nothing. Yeah, well, Harmonize, currently uncastable, but, uh, yeah, that that's harsh. That's pretty harsh. So, we're going to get beat down by a 3-1 until we find something, and we have to get through a grip full of counterspells. Yeah, that doesn't seem ideal. Precursor is a good draw since we can hard cast it. He can counter it. At least we can next turn exhume it. He doesn't get value off of it. Unfortunately, bounce spells are pretty good against Precursor, but Precursor is also a pretty big body. All right, so he's going to bounce them all. Which lets him, what, draw three cards? So he basically Ancestrals. That's pretty harsh. All right, well, that was like the worst thing that could possibly happen, but bad things happen in Magic, and he learned to accept them. Yep, that seems pretty tough to beat. Alright, not going to be able to block Frost Titan, which means we're in pretty rough shape here, unfortunately. Alright, I think we just block so we don't take uh, 9 damage, because that seems pretty bad. Yeah, Cryptic Command was, like I said, I believe the harshest thing that could have happened. So, we'll cast Vasara, he's got Counterspell Mana up. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is going here. So mono blue, which means Sundering Titan is going to come right out of our deck. And take far too much damage. Left at two. Opponent's got a grip. Eight lands. Zero chance of winning this game. And let's see what we draw. Damnation. Well, that helps. Guess we attack first. 
Just hope in five cards he has no counter spells. What do you think the chances of that are? I would say about zero. I'd say there's about a zero percent chance of this uh, resolving. Okay, as expected. Well, that was a pretty harsh loss. Uh, we did have to mulligan, though. And, uh, right? Or did we keep it? No, I'm pretty sure we mulliganed. So we mulliganed, and we kept a hand that was all res, no creature, which is pretty unfortunate. Those things happen, though. And you learn to accept them and move on and learn from your mistakes and blunders and bad plays. So Sundering Titan coming out. Not so good against mono blue deck, as you might imagine. Uh, Living Death seems like it might be pretty good, though, especially if he's countering all of our creatures. Uh, Thoughtseize, gotta come in. Uh, maybe I can go more on a beatdown plan, but I guess not really. I don't have that much beatdown stuff. Um, the only reason I'm not playing Guy's Cradle is I just don't have enough creatures to support it, so that does make sense. Stinkweed Imp, I don't think he counters it, but I don't really like it that much in our deck. In retrospect, even though Dredge is cool, I don't really like it all that much in our deck. Uh, I could do the Reclamation Sage, but we didn't see anything yet. Could do the Primal Command. I guess it takes care of Tamiyo. kind of want the Garrick, because it spits out dudes. It's going to be tough to cast, but so is everything against the Counterspell deck. Um, regrowth, maybe? Toxic Deluge does not seem very good. I think we're going to cut that. Let's bring in Garrick. It's just more, more goodness potential. Precursor was pretty awful for us. I'm not gonna lie. Cryptic command on the precursor was pretty pretty awful. Let's bring in Hypnotic. That can be annoying against control. Let's. Uh, Masker Room doesn't really do much of anything except be a big body. Yeah, we, we don't have a good creature suit for our opponent. But we're just going to have to wheel and deal with it. Uh, Ma Master of the Feast seems like a problem because he gets to draw cards. Which you really don't want to do against a control deck. Could bring in the Reclamation Sage just on a hunch that it's going to do something. It's not the worst hunch. But Mono Blue, he probably has Thassa. I can't think of a lot of enchantments he would have. that Because I can't even destroy uh, Thassa. I think we'll do Primal Command. And the only reason I'm doing Primal Command is because it takes care of Tamiyo. It's not a very good reason to do it, but... Could be potentially good. I could do Soren as well. We only have one white source. But I do have Kadama's Reach. Mulch. Wayfinder. Spits out guys for me if I can resolve it. It's banking pretty hard that I find my white source, but... Why don't we cut Primal Command, bring in Soren, cut a forest, and we'll bring in one more white source for Soren. Alright, let's try this. Seems reasonable. Alright, not the best hand, actually. Can't cast this, can't cast this, ever. And it's reasonably slow, but we do have Thoughtseize, which is nice. Mmm. Yeah, I guess we keep it. It's not that good of a hand. I'm not super confident in it, but we could draw well, like Liliana. Start ditching Inferno Titan. Could draw a white source, which might do something. And we at least get to see what our opponent has. Yeah, it's a pretty dope hand. So I guess we'll get rid of Counterspell, which means we're going to leave him with Dissolve, Mana Leak, and Future Sight, all of which are pretty good. Um, the only reason to hit Counterspell instead of Dissolve is because it's only two mana. But he has Mana Leak anyway, which I'm going to have to find some way to get by. Not the ideal draw there either. But that's okay. So he's got Mana Leak mana. I'm not really pressuring him. Well, there's our White Source, so... Mm, I don't know. Can't really afford to play into Mana Leak, I don't think. But... May not have may not have the, any luxuries. Is that dissolved too? Yeah, it's pretty rough. Can't 
can't really afford to play into multiple counter spells either. It was probably a bad keep to, in retrospect, but Thoughtseize just felt so good. I think that was the main reason. All right, well, if he's going to counter something, what would I rather him counter? I guess Soren. I guess I'd rather him counter Soren. He's going to counter everything, so I guess it's kind of a moot point. But um, I can't really comfortably play around Mana Leak. The later the game goes, the less good I think I'm going to do. Well, do I have the resources to do both? I don't. Well, I guess I'd rather resolve the Garrick because it spits out dudes. But once he gets Vendillion click online, we're in big trouble. I guess he's got Dissolve. Hmm. I kind of want to cast this Liliana because discarding gets stuff in my yard. Let's have him counter Garrick then, I guess. Wish I had another mana. I could wait, but... Yeah, as expected. Let's see if he puts it top or the bottom. Put a card on the bottom. Well, at least that means he didn't find something he's looking for, but... we got to find a way to resolve this Liliana, if possible. Hopefully he just casts Future Sight, which would indicate to me he's out of counters. All right, very good. All right, don't really care about Old Man and Sea all that much. So, play land. Play Liliana. Going to start making our opponent discard. We get to get rid of Inferno Titan, potentially bringing that back later. Got rid of a Mull Drifter. Well, that's a scary. That's scary. <laughs> that is scary. Frost Titan on top. Yeah, it's pretty good. What is his last card where he's willing to ditch a Mull Drifter, though? That is terrifying. Factor Fiction? Okay. Ugh. 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 I don't like this at all. Guess Dismiss Frost Titan's what he's going to pick, but I don't want him to have a Sphinx either. So we'll do Land Land Sphinx. All right, looks like he wants that Sphinx. Treachery too, jeez. That ain't good, Fauna Shaman. Well, I guess if he's gonna treachery something, I'd rather it be that. Um, I can't really afford to use Liliana, but I might have to. I guess I ditch Massacre Worm. Let's just keep the Liliana train going. He's just getting rid of a land, which sucks for us, but he's going to be motivated to treachery my... I mean, I, f I don't know anymore. I feel like Masker Worm isn't that good against my opponent anyway. We're, we, don't, we don't have a great deck against our opponent. Our creatures are better against... Especially our late game creatures are better against small things. Opponent's got multiple lands and Consecrated Sphinx in hand. I mean, at the very least, I can, I don't know, potentially Lili Liliana at some point. Yeah, it's pretty bad for us. We're, we're going to lose Liliana, which isn't what I like to see. And we drew a land, which is also quite bad for us. I don't think we're winning this game, sadly, folks. I think this game is just about wrapped up already. So, make him dis or sacrifice. He's going to lose the old man, which doesn't matter. He's going to be able to clean up on Liliana and continue to draw cards for the rest of the game. Yeah, I don't think we can win anymore. We had a shot. We had a decent shot, but we had a good run. It was fun while it lasted. Made it to the finals, too, which is pretty good. So, it was a fun game. Uh, I'm not happy about losing this, but... Opponent had a good deck, drew well, monocolor works pretty well. We're going to lose everything here, but I can't do anything about it. Well, I guess he's tapped out, so 
I draw a uh, damnation, bone splitter. We've got actual draws. That one doesn't do it, though. Unfortunately, land does not actually do anything, so that's not going to help us. Our opponent's already got far too much value off Consecrated Sphinx, so I would say that this game is just about wrapped up. But we did make it to the finals. We went 2-1, uh, which isn't the worst I've ever done. Uh, it's actually quite good, as a matter of fact. Um, so I'm happy with our deck. It played reasonably well. I did get that awkward times where it was like all the all the fatties or all of the um, all the uh, res res spells. So that was kind of unfortunate. But those things happen. You have to expect those kind of distributions. And uh, yeah, you just have to expect those kind of distributions, basically. Um, we're definitely dead. I don't, I'm not exactly sure why I'm playing this out. I guess just to let my opponent feel good about how awesome his deck is. Uh, which is fine. Guess we'll play a Wayfinder. Why not? Well, there's the Unburial Rites. It's kind of cool. Trying to think if Kokusha is better or doesn't really matter, does he? He's got Cryptic. Yeah, doesn't matter. He's got counter spells too. Up the wazoo. Cryptic Command on top looking at me. And he had Remand, so it didn't even matter. Um, he gets to draw an Exile Man Burial, right? So yeah, it's pretty harsh. And Teferi. Yeah, my opponent's living in heaven right now. My opponent's just greedily rubbing his paws together. Thinking about how awesome his deck is. And he should, because he did get an awesome deck. This is the kind of deck I always want to play. Uh, ever since I started Cube, because I just think Counterspells are so good. In this, in all Cubes, Counterspells are good. But this guy just got one of the nastiest ones I've ever seen. It's just like the ideal mono blue one. So, um, just absolutely destroyed in the finals. But it was fun while it lasted. And we did make it to the finals, and we beat a better deck. So, okay. Uh, I uh, think, well, maybe not necessarily a better deck, but that round two opponent had a pretty fantastic deck, so it's pretty satisfying beating the, the White Weenie with Armageddon. And uh, overall, you know, it was a fun draft. We did okay. 2 1, I'll always take. 2 1 at least is a free draft, so nothing to be ashamed about there. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you for the next one.